Hello! Some of our users have come across situations where Kineflex refuses to move elements uh, that are supposedly parts of a smart magnet rig and pops this error message in output. So in this video I will explain how you can come across uh, such a situation and how to resolve the conflict of having duplicated elements. It's very important to understand that while you rig elements and make them a part of a smart magnet rig, the freestyle rigging tool or the smart magnet rig panel assign unique IDs to these elements as metadata. And this metadata is written into the symbol instances. So how can we see the IDs of the elements? We can load the rig in smart Mag rig panel and upon hovering over an element in the status bar you can see the last bit saying id 7 so this one element has an id of 7 and this one has an id of 5 the master parent has a name and all the others have just ids which are relative to the master parent so we can trigger the message the moment we duplicate any of these elements so if i duplicate this lower arm here by just alt dragging it and now i try to use kineflex the error message pops up telling us that there's a duplicate uh, element on such and such layer very easily just uh, by deleting it functionality is uh, restored Otherwise, if we have duplicates, Kineflex doesn't know which one of these elements to actually move. So how can we put ourselves in a situation where we have a duplicate element and we can't use Kineflex? Uh, let's clear the panel first. And let's uh, remove RigInfo from this character so that we can start rigging it again. I'll remove the rig info by pressing this button here. Okay, let's delete these. Pretend that uh, we have started rigging before we have duplicated the elements. So now we've rigged these. This is a mistake. We had to duplicate these elements before rigging them, but let's pretend we didn't know that. Now, if we've rigged so far and try Kineflex, everything will work. Okay, now let's grab these two elements here, which are the bits for the arm, and duplicate them, flip them horizontally, and put them where we want our other arm to be. Now we have created duplicate IDs. Now, if we load this rig in the panel, We'll see it's only half rig. It doesn't show this other arm. If we attempt to rig it, we can't because the freestyle rigging tool already knows that these elements have been rigged. But if we attempt to use Kineflex now, we'll get the error message. So how to deal with this situation? It's very simple. Select these elements, remove rig info, by pressing the remove rig info button and then we can just rig them now we can just rig them and if we load the rig again in the panel we can see that now they have different IDs so this one has seven while this one the other upper arm has an ID of three so if we choose Kineflex everything works because there's no duplicate IDs. If I duplicate the leg elements, we'll recreate the problem again because these already have IDs of five and six. So we have duplicate IDs of five and six. If I go Kineflex, that's what it says. ID six is a duplicate ID and it actually gives us information where exactly the duplication is happening. Well, it says uh, leg R2 
and leg LT. So LT and RT. These are these are the duplicates. So by uh, removing the rig info, the conflict will be resolved and Kineflex will work again. Of course, this other leg has not been rigged yet, so now we can just rig it. And now we have the full functionality and the full rig. So all you need to do is just identify where the duplicates are, remove the rig info and rig them again. Now, what about if we have a situation where we actually have a full character rig and we want to duplicate it? So I'll, I'll do this. Maybe there's uh, another way of doing it and I'll show you what else you can do. So I'll duplicate these layers and drag them outside of the folder flip horizontally and now we have two characters so the moment I try to use Kineflex I'll get the error message because obviously this is the same rig and it appears twice on the stage if we have a keyframe here and if we remove one of the rigs Kineflex will instantly start working here because uh, all the smart magnet rig tools work in the current keyframe. Deleting is obviously one way of solving it, but uh, that's not what I meant uh, when I said I'll show you something else. So let's copy all these layers and create a blank new file. Paste these layers here. The, the rabbit is somewhere there. That's just because of the registration of the container. Doesn't really matter. Now let's load the rig here and rename it. We need to do it in a separate file or a separate timeline. So by renaming the rig, let's call it rabbit2. By renaming the rig, the master parent's ID is different and all these other IDs relate to the master parent so now it's actually uh, for all intents and purposes it's a separate rig so i'll copy these layers go back to my original file delete these and paste the layers that i've copied from the temporary file now if i clear the panel and say load rigs, we actually have two rigs. So two separate rigs load. There's no conflict anymore. And now if I grab Kineflex, there you go. This ring works fine. And this ring works fine. So the conflict has been resolved. I can give this guy a controller and raise a foot like this. I can give this leg a controller and make him squat a little bit. I hope that uh, this uh, clarifies why sometimes you might see this error message pop up and shows you how to resolve the ID conflicts with smart magnet rings. Thanks for watching.